Exercise number eight. Grammar focus. Grammar focus. Messages we still don't ask. Listen. Page one hundred three. Exercise eight. Grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Messages we still don't ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. This is statement sentence. Messages with statement. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her that the meeting was on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting was on Friday? So here in this in this part, say please tell. Could you tell? Would you tell? The verb we use the verb tell because this is a statement, a sentence. That, and we we'll write here the sentence or the message. Please. Tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Or tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? So I can write that or some people they don't like to write that. Statement start here with what? Subject, verb, object. Statement, sentence. Request and request will start with a verb. Like, call me this afternoon. So, this message with a request, I start with a verb. I use the verb ask. Because this is a request, you use ask. Please. Ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? So in request, we start with a verb and we use ask. Please ask him to. Could you ask him to? Would you ask him to? Plus the main verb, infinitive. If I'm gonna talk to a young lady or I talk about a woman, so say, please ask her ask her please ask her could you ask her would you ask her so him for man her for woman let's check this powerpoint presentation messages we still and ask messages we still and ask British ask, American ask, telephone messages, telephone calls, telephone conversations, let's check, messages with tell, statement, this is the message, the meeting is on Friday, the meeting is on Friday, meeting, T sub D, British meeting, the meeting is on Friday. American, the meeting is, is on Friday. This is statement, sentence, subject, verb, object. So please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her? Could you tell her? Tell her. It's silent. And in American, tell her. Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her 
that the meeting is on Friday. So here you have statement, sentence, and telephone message. This is the message. And the telephone call. And then you say, please tell. Could you tell? Would you tell? Her, because she's Anne, a young lady. Him, if I talk about a man. That, the message. The meeting is on Friday. The meeting is on Friday. Again, statement. The meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Please tell him. Please tell her. Tell him. I can make H silent here. Tell him. Tell him. Please tell him. Please tell her that. Could you tell him? Could you tell her that? Would you tell him? Would you tell her that? Statement. That the meeting is on Friday. Please tell him that. Could you tell him that? Would you tell him that? Please, please, please tell her that. Could you tell her that? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? So we use the verb tell because this is statement, sentence. Messages with ask. If I have a request, request, call me back as soon as possible. Call me back as soon as possible. Call me. This is verb. And the request will start with a verb. Like call me back. Call me back as soon as possible. Please. Please ask him. Could you ask him? Would you ask him? To? To call me back as soon as possible. Please. Ask her. If I talk about a young lady. Please ask her. Could you ask her? Would you ask her to call me as, to call me back as soon as possible? Request, call me back as soon as possible. I'm talking to someone and I would like to give him this request to ask his brother, his friend to do this. So, in a telephone call, he will give the message to another person. So, please ask him to call me back as soon as possible. Could you ask him to call me back as soon as possible? Would you ask him to call me back as soon as possible? If the message to a young lady, to a woman, please ask her to call me back as soon as possible. Could you ask her? Could you ask her to call me back as soon as possible? Would you ask her to call me back as soon as possible? Request start with verb like call me, call me back. Please ask him or her. Please ask him, her. Could you ask him, her? Would you ask him, her, to, plus infinitive. So if you have any request, please ask him or her, to. Could you ask him or her, to. Would you ask him or her, to, plus infinitive. How can we know that this is a statement or a request? Statement, we have subject verb object sentence but request will start with a verb like call me stand up sit down pay the money this is request pay for me answer the phone this is a request request starts with a verb 
statement, you have like a sentence, subject, verb, object. We use ask with request, but we use tell with a statement, with a sentence. And scramble these messages, then compare with the partner. 1. Tell that is please Ryan the barbecue on Saturday. 2. Call me at 12. You, Patrick, could ask to. 3. Is that Amy tonight? Could you? The dance performance tell. 4. Tell is Celia in the park. Would. Would you? That. The picnic. 5. Meet me to you. Would Noroko ask at the stadium? 6. Ask to the rock concert. Concert, a musical party. Please bring Jason to the texts. Now let's answer these messages. We'll put them in order to make a message. Answers. 1. Please tell Ryan that the barbecue is on Saturday. 2. Could you ask Patrick to call me at 12 o'clock? 3. Could you tell Amy that the dance performance is tonight? Could you tell Amy that the dance performance is tonight? 4. Would you tell Celia that the picnic is in the park? Would you tell Celia that the picnic is in the park? Five. Would you ask? Would you ask Nuroko to meet me at the stadium? Six. Please ask Jason to bring the text to the rock concert. Please ask Jason to bring the text to the rock concert. Exercise number nine. Writing. Unusual favors. Unusual, not usual. A. Pair work. Think of unusual messages for three people in your class. Think of unusual messages for three people in your class. Write a note to your partner asking him or her to pass on the messages. So you write a note, you write a piece of paper to your partner, to your friend, asking him or asking her, asking him or her. I can make the H silent to pass on the message to give the message to another person look at the picture here you have three persons so someone write a note and then you give the note to another person to give the message to tell the message to the third person let's read a message dear Rachel could you tell Brian to wear two different color socks tomorrow? Socks. Socks. These are socks. Please, please tell Jeff that our class tomorrow is at midnight. Would you ask Sunhi to bring me a hamburger and french fries for breakfast tomorrow? Thanks, David. So this is a message from David to Rachel, okay, to tell Brian, Jeff, and Sunhi different requests. B. Group work. Compare your messages. Which is the most unusual? The most unusual is this one. From Juan to Sun He. Dear So He, it's my birthday tomorrow. Could you please tell Miss King, tell Miss King that I want to have a party during class. Also, 
Could you ask Steve to buy a birthday cake? Thanks, Joanne. So this is an usual message, an usual message, not usual one, not ordinary, for some friends in the class, for the friends of Joanne, because Joanne has a birthday party. So this is going to be homework, so you should ask your friends to pass the message to other persons. Exercise number 10, pronunciation, reduction of could you and would you, could you, would you. Don't say could you, would you, no this is wrong, could you, would you. Exercise 10, pronunciation, reduction of could you and would you. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how could you and would you are reduced in conversation. Could you tell Matt the meeting is at 5? Would you ask him to pick me up at 4.30? Could you tell Matt the meeting is at 5? Would you ask him to pick me up at 4.30? Could you tell Matt the meeting is at 5? Would you ask him to pick me up at 4.30? Exercise number 10. In this exercise, could you becomes could you, would you. L silent could, could you. L silent would, would you. And then we'll make a link between the D and the Y. Could you, would you. Here, could you. Could and you, one word. Could you. Could you tell Matt the meeting is at 5? Would you? Would you ask him to pick me up at 4.30? Pick me up. Yes, yeah, sound between E, because E, and there is vowel, so but here, yes, yeah, sound. Pick, pick me up. Again, could you? Could you tell Matt the meeting is at 5? Meeting, T, soft D. Would you? Would you ask him to pick me up at 4.30? Would you ask him? Pick me up at 4.30, 4.30, here, pick me up, pick me up, don't say pick me up, no, say pick me up. B. Practice these questions with reduced forms. In these questions, we're going to read them, you have to practice them, say, so, could, plus you, becomes what, could you. Tell them, I can say tell them, I will, I'll be late. Could you tell them I'll be late? 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 Would, would you? Would you ask her? Would you ask her to be on time? Would you ask? Would you ask her to be on time? Her, each sign could make ask her. Be on, yes sound. And two, O oh, silent. Would you ask her to be on time? Would you ask her to be on time? Could, could you? Could you ask her? Could you ask her to tell my dictionary? This word, dictionary, American. British, dictionary. Dictionary, dictionary. Dictionary, this is not English, this is Arabic. So English, dictionary, American, British, dictionary. Dictionary. Could you ask her to return my dictionary? Would you? L silent, would you? Tell him, tell him. Would you tell him? There is. S as Z, there is a picnic tomorrow, and I can say tomorrow, morrow, like tomorrow morning. Americans say tomorrow morning. Would you tell them there is a picnic tomorrow? Would you tell them there is a picnic tomorrow? 
Would you tell him there is a picnic tomorrow? Exercise number 11. In exercise number 11, you will have listening, taking a message. So in this exercise, you listen to telephone calls to Mr. Lane and Ms. Carson. You write down the message. So for every message, you're going to write down the message. And you fill the blanks like from, of, phone number, extension number. What is the message and taken by who? Who took the message? Taken by who? Sometimes it's not the secretary, but this is the name of the company. You will listen two times. Please try to answer fast. It's not easy. Page 104. Exercise 11. Listening. Taking a message. Listen to telephone calls to Mr. Lynn and Ms. Carson. Write down the messages. 1. Good afternoon, MBI. May I help you? Hello. I want to speak to Mr. Lynn, please. I'm sorry. Mr. Lynn is in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Mrs. Paris of City Car Center. Mrs. Paris. Is that P-A-R-I-S? Yes, that's right. Please ask him to call me at the City Car Center before 3.30 this afternoon. It's very important. All right. And your number, please? 555-3290. 555 That's it. Okay. I'll ask him to call you before 3.30, Mrs. Ferris. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Listen again. Good afternoon, MBI. May I help you? Hello. I want to speak to Mr. Lynn, please. I'm sorry. Mr. Lynn is in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Mrs. Paris of City Car Center. Mrs. Paris. Is that P-A-R-I-S? Yes, that's right. Please ask him to call me at the City Car Center before 3.30 this afternoon. It's very important. All right. And your number, please? 555-3290. 555 That's it. Okay. I'll ask him to call you before 3.30, Mrs. Ferris. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Exercise number one. To Mr. To Mr. Lan. L-I-N. While you were out from Mrs. Paris of City, City, T of D, City, of City Car Center, of City Car Center, phone number 555-3290, phone number 555-3290. Message. Call Mrs. Call Mrs. Paris before 3.30. Call Mrs. Paris before 3.30 this afternoon. Important. The message again. Call Mrs. Paris before 3.30 this afternoon. Important. Taken by MBI, MBI. Taking a message, the second message, the second telephone call. Let's start to listen. Two. This is Software Systems. Good morning. Good morning. May I speak to Ms. Carson, please? Do you mean Mrs. Carter? No, Carson. Ms. Wendy Carson. She's new there. Let me check. Oh, yes. Let me try to connect you. Hold on. I'm sorry, there's no answer.
May I take a message? Yes. Would you please ask her to call Sam at First National Bank? Sam at First National Bank. The number is 555-1187, extension 313. 555-1187, extension 313? That's right. Okay. I'll give her the message. Thanks so much. Bye. Goodbye. Listen again. Two. This is Software Systems. Good morning. Good morning. May I speak to Ms. Carson, please? Hmm. Do you mean Mrs. Carter? No, Carson. Ms. Wendy Carson. She's new there. Let me check. Oh, yes. Let me try to connect you. Hold on. I'm sorry, there's no answer. May I take a message? Yes, would you please ask her to call Sam at First National Bank? Sam at First National Bank. The number is 555-1187, extension 313. 555-1187, extension 313? That's right. Okay, I'll give her the message. Thanks so much. Bye. Goodbye. This is Software Systems. Good morning. Good morning. May I speak to Ms. Carson, please? Hmm. Do you mean Mrs. Carter? No, Carson. Ms. Wendy Carson. She's new there. Let me check. Oh, yes. Let me try to connect you. Hold on. I'm sorry, there's no answer. May I take a message? Yes, would you please ask her to call Sam at First National Bank? Sam at First National Bank. The number is 555-1187, extension 313. 555-1187, extension 313? That's right. Okay, I'll give her the message. Thanks so much. Bye. Goodbye. To Wendy, to Wendy Carson, Carson, C A R S O N, to Wendy Carson. While you were out, from Sam, Mr. Sam, of first, first, I can write first F I R S T or first one S T, first National Bank. Phone. Five 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 one one eight seven extension three one three extension three one three message call Sam at First National Bank call Sam at First National Bank taken by software systems. This is the name of the company. Software Systems. This is the name of the company. Exercise number 12. Rule play. Who's calling? So this is rule play. Who's calling? We're going to make a rule play between two persons, two students. They're going to talk in a phone call or they're making a conversation. Student A, call your friend Andrew to tell him this. There's a party at Raya's house on Saturday night. Raya's address is 414 or 414 Maple Street, apt apartment, apartment 202. Pick me up at 8 o'clock at 8 p.m. Student B. Someone calls for your brother Andrew. He's not in. Andrew is not in. Take a message for him. So here you try to make a phone call. 
and you take the message for Mr. Andrew. Change roles and try another role, role play. Make another conversation. Someone calls for your sister, Janet. She is not in. Take a message for her. Call your friend Janet to tell her this. There is no class next Friday afternoon. The class is going to a movie at Westwood Theater. Meet us in front of the theater at 4.30. This is the second conversation. Of course, you can use useful expressions like May I speak to? Sorry, but isn't here. Can I leave a message? Can I take a message? I'll. I'll give him the message. I'll give her. I'll give her the message. So you can use these useful expressions to make a good telephone call. An example for you is the following one in the PowerPoint presentation. Telephone message. We're going to have an example for telephone message between A and B, Ahmed and Muhammad. Good morning. Hello. May I speak to Ahmed? I'm sorry, he's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Ibrahim. Please tell him that the party was cancelled. Okay, I'll give him the message. Again, this conversation between two persons. Someone is calling. Ibrahim is calling. Ibrahim is calling Ahmed. Muhammad is not at home. So, Ahmed will take the message from Ibrahim to tell, to tell the message to Muhammad. Good morning. Hello. May I speak to Ahmed? I'm sorry. He's not in. He's not in. T, soft in American. O as A. He's not in. British, he's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Ibrahim. Please tell him that the party was canceled. Okay, I'll give him the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good morning. Hello. May I speak to Ahmed, please? I'm sorry. He's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Ibrahim. Please tell him that the party was canceled. Okay, I'll give him the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Exercise number 13. In exercise number 13, this is the passage. Exercise number 13, reading, cell phone, etiquette, etiquette, American, T soft D, British, British, etiquette. Scan the article, he did okay to use a cell phone in a movie theater, in a restaurant, on the street. Is this okay? Look at the picture here. Where are the people? They are in, in a restaurant and there is a waitress, a waitress, she's serving customers, she's serving a drink. A man, he's talking on the phone, he's laughing, he's talking loudly, he makes a lot of noise. The people are very angry, they have red noses. So they're very angry from the customer's bad behavior. Do we have cell phone etiquettes? Do we have mobile etiquettes? What's etiquette? Etiquette, the rules of accepted behavior. Rules of social, of social accepted behavior. Scan the article. 
you dedicate to use a cell phone in a movie theater, in a restaurant like this, in a movie theater, in the cinema, or on the street? What do these things have in common? A stranger's personal problems. Details about a business meeting. The food in someone's refrigerator. Refrigerator, fridge. Someone's medical issues. Medical things. And a private argument. An argument. A discussion. An angry discussion. So what do the things have in common? A stranger personal problems. The problems related to a person. Private problems. Details about business meeting. Information about a business meeting. The food in someone's fridge. Refrigerator. Fridge. Someone's medical issues. Someone medical condition. He is sick or not. He had a disease or not. And a private argument. A very angry discussion about private life. These are all things you hear about when the people around, when the people around you don't practice good cell phone etiquette. And etiquette, the rule of accepted behavior. Most people find cell phones a necessity in their day-to-day -day lives. So most people find cell phones, find mobiles important, important in their ordinary lives, day-to-day -day lives, ordinary lives. But we've all sat next to someone talking too loudly, listening to loud music, or playing a loud beeping game on a cell phone. Beeping, a short high-pitched sound. But but a but a but a recent report, a new report, a new report, a modern report, shows that while most people are annoyed by cell phone rudeness, while most people are annoyed or angry by cell phone, by cell phone rudeness, by mobile impoliteness, people who are implied in using cell phones must admit to doing it must confess admit confess to doing it i can make the g silent doing doing to doing it to doing it too what can you do to practice better etiquette here are a few rules what can you do to have better accepted behavior. What can you do to use the mobile in good way? Here are a few rules. Off means off. Respect the rules of restaurants and other public places. If a sign says, no cell phones, don't use your phone for anything. So if you are in a restaurant, you should turn off your mobile. You should turn off your cell phone, especially if there is a sign. A sign says no cell phones, means don't use your cell phone, don't use your mobile. Two, keep private conversations private. If you have a private conversation with your girlfriend, with your wife, or between a husband and wife, should speak softly and for a short time. So, you shouldn't speak loudly. You should speak softly. And for a short time. Don't speak for a long time about your private life. Observe the three meter 
ten feet rule. What is the three meter rule? You should notice, observe, notice the three meter rule. Stay away from other people. You should stay away from other people within three meters. So you should be far away at least from any person with three meters. Lights off, phone off. Never take calls or send text messages in a theater, in a theater, in a cinema. Never answer the phone. Never take calls or even send text messages at the movies or at a performance. Turn your phone or your ringer off. A device that creates a device that creates the ring tone on a cell phone. A device that creates the ring tone on a cell phone. Pay attention. Talking or text or texting while driving is dangerous. Listening to music with headphones while driving is dangerous. So when you drive, you shouldn't talk on your cell phone. You shouldn't text a message. You shouldn't listen to music with head with headphones. This is very dangerous. Crossing the street while playing a game or checking your email is dangerous. You get the packager. You shouldn't cross the street while playing a game on your mobile or you shouldn't cross the street while you check your email this is very dangerous because you could have an accident cell phones have become many computers so now cell phones mobiles become many computers, small computers that people depend on 24 hours a day. So people use mobiles now 24 seven. But don't let your, but don't let yours become a nuisance, annoyance. Don't let your mobile and know you or a danger to others. Next time you're getting ready to use yours, stop and consider the people around you. So when you're gonna use the mobile, please stop and respect the people around you. A. Read the article, then complete the summary with information from the article. So in this exercise, you are going to read the article and then you write the answer there. You fill in the blanks. You write the word, the missing word. This is a summary, a brief summary for the article. Article essay. Many people don't practice good cell phone. Blank. They talk to blank. Listen to music or check their email while blank, while the street. To be a better cell phone user, follow a few simple rules. For example, turn your phone in public places that don't allow cell phones. Speak on phone calls and don't talk, text, play games. Or listen to music while blank or crossing the street. So here we have different blanks. Now let's answer this. Answers. Many people don't practice good cell phone etiquette. They talk too loudly, listen to loud music or check their email while crossing the street. To be a better cell phone user, follow a few simple rules. For example, turn off your phone in public places. 
that don't allow cell phones. Speak softly. T, I can make it here silent between two consonants. Speak softly. Speak softly on phone calls. And don't talk, text, play games, or listen to music while driving or crossing the street. B. Check through the statements the writer would probably agree with. Probably. I can make the B silent here. We have probably and probably in American. Statements. T silent between two consonants. So you can say statements or statements. 1. You should never use a cell phone in public. So this is agree or the writer wouldn't agree, like true or false. No, this one, wrong, false. 2. Cell phone users are very rude people. Rude, impolite, bad people. Number 2, false. Wrong. 3. Turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to. 3. True. So here the writer would probably agree with. True, agree. 3. Agree, true. True. 4. You can talk loudly if you are more than 3 meters away from someone. 4. False. Not agree. The writer doesn't agree. 5. It's okay to send text messages while driving a car. 5. No. False. Wrong. The writer wouldn't agree. 6. You can use a cell phone at a dance performance if you speak quietly. No. Wrong. False. The writer doesn't agree. 7. Don't play games on your phone in a restaurant. Don't play games on, on your phone in restaurants. True. The writer would agree. Yes. Agree. 8. Don't check your email while crossing the street. True. Agree. Yes. So here, the statements that the writer would probably agree with are number 3, 7, 8. See, paperwork. Do you agree with the writer's opinions? Why or why not? This is, of course, your opinion. Some people will agree, others will not agree. That's the end of unit number 15, part 2. And now let's have the vocabulary. 7. Call me back. How's it going? How are you? Statement. Sentence. Reduction. Abbreviation. Etiquette. Etiquette. The rules of accepted behavior. Happen. Occur. Take place. Day to day. Ordinary. Regular. Ordinary. American. British. Ordinary. 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 British. American. Ordinary. Regular. Loud mouth, a person who talks too much. Management, the people in charge of business or company. Take care of, deal with, handle. Take calls, answer the phone. Consider, respect. General words for unit 50. Cancelled, cancelled. Deleted. Cancelled, cancelled, deleted. Double L, this is British. The verb British. One L, American. Monuments. Remains. Spectator. British, spectator. American, spectator. 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 Viewer, T soft D, between two vowels A and O. Spectator. 
gathering crowd hand out leisure activity spur time activity free time activity live direct happening now workbook unit 50 amusement park a play 7 sms short message services short message services characters letters text message text message cell phone mobile vice versa vice versa on contrast on contrast abbreviate shortage communicating communicate with communicate with screen monitor contain include vertically 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 horizontally horizontally emotional icons emotional icons confused That's the end of Unit 15 Vocab Book. Welcome. 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 Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.